This is a tribute to a man of highest character, a man of honor, a man who put the advancement of others before himself. Frank Q. Carrillo was a teacher, an advocate for civil rights, a musician, combat veteran, and a counselor for many in need. Frank was a man who truly loved his community. Born in Williams, Arizona in 1928, Frank attended Williams High School. He sold newspapers at the train depot and his mother sold tortillas until they had enough for a saxophone. He played in the high school band, then the U.S. Army band after enlisting. After his honorable discharge, he earned an undergraduate degree and a master's degree in counseling and guidance from Northern Arizona University. Frank used his education for teaching and counseling students, especially those in minority schools, and advocating for those that needed a voice. He became a member of LULAC, the League of United Latin American Citizens, in 1973. LULAC became Frank's life. I remember his lifetime commitment to LULAC and his longevity. Uh, for 46 years, he was a fighter for civil rights and for the advancement of uh, youth in the community. And uh, that's half his lifetime. Uh, he was president of Tempe Lula Council for 30 years, even unto his deathbed. He was the uh, state director of LULAC for six years. He sponsored the annual Val uh, Valentine's Day red and white ball to raise money for scholarships. He did that for 26 years with the help of his council. Raised at least $300,000 in scholarship funds that helped a minimum of 400 uh, dis disadvantaged students. That was Frank. He was Mr. Lulak. Lulak was his passion. Frank and Lulak had for uh, a year, year and a half, had been fighting the school district to try and get them to hire uh, more Hispanics as teachers. At that time, there was only one Hispanic teacher. So their complaint, their response to uh, Frank's LULAC's urgings was that there weren't any qualified Hispanic applicants for teacher positions. So Frank took him a stack of resumes, at least 20 resumes, and presented them to the board. And soon thereafter, the floodgates were lifted. Hispanics started applying and getting hired uh, for the uh, teaching positions in the Tempe School District. And this continued and has continued even to the present day. Ironically, I had worked for President Reagan and Frank had worked uh, through LULAC to help change some of the immigration laws and we both came together uh, in the Immigration Reform Act of 1986. Uh, I have to remind people how much things have changed when you remember that it was President Reagan who pointed at the camera and said, I support amnesty. You don't see that much anymore on the Republican side of the universe, but Frank and I came together trying to work out some of the challenges we were still having in our community. He helped me get elected to the city council in 1998, um, and that's kind of what started our friendship. Uh, I came to know Frank as an amazing Renaissance man. And here's a, here's a fellow who started very modest means, uh, went into the army, ultimately because he was a musician, so he was assigned to the army band, but then the Korean War got him assigned to uh, a, a, a unit where he had to worry about fighting. And in fact, as a result of that service, not because he could tr play the saxophone or even the trumpet, but because he was uh, someone who was in the infantry, as I recall, uh, he ended up with a bronze star. That's not easily awarded. I think he also ended up with five uh, bronze service stars as well for, for five different uh, major engagements. That's an interesting start for a man who ends up known in the city of Tempe for civil rights activism, for his acting as an educator, uh, and also somebody who could play a mean saxophone. My father was a jazz musician, and so he and Frank shared a love of the very same kind of music, and I grew up on that. 
So I got to listen to Frank play on a number of occasions, in part because of his military service. He was involved with the American Legion, and he would play for their uh, big band nights. I uh, was a, just a terrific human being. Uh, with uh, Frank's help and others' help, we put to rest that that's not the kind of behavior that goes on in the city of Tempe, and our new chief of police, Tom Riff, uh, was able to get control of the department and really carry it to a new place and, and Frank's in part responsible for that success. Uh, the city of Tempe is not uh, sort of an Anglo creation. It is the merger of Hayden's Ferry and San Pablo that came together after a decade to become the city of Tempe. It's both of those major communities merging. And Frank, I think, represented that. He, he moved seamlessly in and out of all the different communities, uh, ethnic groups within our city to help bring people together. I don't think he was motivated at all by the sense of uh, skin color or eth ethnicity. He was motivated by a sense of, of courage and a sense of honor and brought people together to achieve great goals. Frank's lasting impact on this world was that of helping tear down racial barriers and assisting hundreds and thousands of other fellow citizens open the doors of opportunity. However, true to the LULAC code, he required they pay it back by helping others obtain the same opportunities and by having their children follow in their footsteps. Frank's legacy and leadership will be lasting for generations to come and we are all benefited by his hard work and his dedication to all fellow Americans. Frank died on December 28, 2020, at the age of 92. He was buried in his beloved Williams, Arizona, next to his beloved wife in the beautiful pine trees. We'll always remember you, Frank. Thank you. Oh, talking about General Dean. When him and, uh, and Colonel Waters came in, I gave him a highball and let him come in. About 45 minutes later, an hour later, we got orders to move back 35 miles. And so we took off. That night, after that, I don't know, North Korean tanks came in and they, he was captured. And he was a, he was a prisoner for the rest of the war. General D. He was from Berkeley, California. I knew him real well, believe it or not.